Welcome back. I am your host. I'm attorney Stephen Leahy, and this is the IRS Radio Hour on AM 560. The The answer. answer. Here with Jim Leahy and Deborah Schreiner, our gang of three. Is that that a gang? More of a... More of a gaggle. (laughs) I get that. Uh, But I want to also remind you... I think we're a posse. Okay. I think that's better than a gang, I think. Group. (laughs) We are a group, that's for sure. Uh, uh, What I want to remind everybody is, is that we... First, I want to tell you we had a great time today. Uh, we were, uh, and then we had a uh, did a show called the Trust Radio Network. You can hear it next Saturday night at ten o'clock here on AM five sixty. The answer. We have a very special guest, and his name is Scott Ellis of Homeside Financial. And we have uh, we had a great discussion about uh, about mortgages, about taxes, about about uh, helping people. About baseball, <laughs> so we had a lot, we had a lot of fun. I want you to join us though next Saturday at ten o'clock. Join us at the Trust Radio Network. Not only next Saturday, but every Saturday because we have a lot of trusted professionals, people you should know when you're making important decisions. And so we want to introduce you to them. And so when you have a question, you know who you can call and get answers. Whether you're going to hire them or not, that's a different question. But you can always get answers from these people. And that's what I want you to know about the Trust Radio Agreed. Network. Agreed. Okay. Now, be- before we go on to the next segment, I also wanted to talk about SALT because we were talking about uh, Illinois taxes and how, this, and how this hurts and how they call it a fair tax and how politicians talk out of both sides of their mouth. And they do this about the SALT and that's the, the state and local taxes, right? So the, Kumo said, uh, SALT encourages high-income New Yorkers, because he's from New York, to move to other states. If even a small number of high-income taxpayers leave the state, it would harm state revenues. And so they think it's wrong. Remember, they were trying to sue the, the federal government. But what about fairness, right? Because they're saying it's fair. Why should, why should the rest of America uh, pay? It should be fair that rich people pay more in, in taxes. That's what they're trying to say, but when it affects them, then they talk out of both sides of their mouth. It just makes me angry with, with this whole talk about a fair tax when we know it's not a fair tax. Anyway, let's do the next segment. It's the blog segment. The blog. The blog. Oh, you all right? You gonna, yeah, I'm zenning out now. This is good. What's just, going on in this, the office? This just gets me concerned. What's going on? Well, you know, I'm going to tell you what's going on in the office. That's much more. So I'm, I've kind of changed the way I look at how I help people. And, of course, I help people with tax problems, and, and uh, we've been doing this for some time. And, I've, and actually, I don't, I don't change what we do so much as how much I, I'm changing how I look at it and how you should look at it because this is important. What happens, and I've been doing this a long time, and what I've found is that when people – get into a uh, a uh, installment agreement or some other type of agreement with the IRS they don't realize the 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 whole package that they're agreeing to okay so when you agree to pay the IRS in an installment so i owe the IRS some money whether it's a partial installment agreement which means i'm going to just pay what i can a month and i'm not gonna, even though i'm not going to pay the IRS everything i owe them or i'm going to pay them everything i owe them i'm just going to take some time before, I, you know, it's going to take me some time to pay them or even an offer to compromise when they're going to agree to a lump sum settlement. All of these kind of, kinds of agreements or another one, if I get cu- currently not collectible status, which means I could prove to the IRS that if I pay the IRS, it's going to I'm not going to be able to pay some of my other bills. OK. And so if I could prove any of those things, they put me in these agreements with the IRS. But what people don't realize is that part of any of these agreements is that I'm going to stay in compliance. That's right there. Compliance right there. is, and people don't realize this. Well, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I'll work out another payment plan with them for next year's taxes. The answer is it doesn't work that way. Okay. If, if my agreement says I'm going to pay and, and then the next year I don't file my tax return on time or I don't pay my taxes next year, well, they bounce me right out of that agreement and they go back in the collections to start to start garnishing my wages or freezing my bank account or taking away my passport or, or a number of other things that they can do to start collecting forcibly, enforced collection it's called. Okay, so they do this and you don't realize it that that's part of the agreement. Okay, so the big thing that goes wrong is that you spend money, whether it's with me or some other outfit, and they get you into some agreement, and then you don't understand the terms of that agreement, and you don't do your taxes the next year on time. 
Okay, so even if you do an extension, that could technically knock you out of the agreement. If I don't pay my quarterly payments, that can technically knock me out of the agreement that I have with and them. And how many times have you seen that? Over and over and over again. Okay, so you have compliance. You have, I have to pay on time. I have to file on time. And I have to be accurate. So those are the three compliance uh, st- stools, uh, uh, legs of the stool that I need to do each and every year in order to stay in compliance to keep my installment agreement or whatever agreement I have with the IRS in good standing. Okay, so they're not, they, they're they looking to knock me out of the agreement. They don't want me the agreement. They want to do enforced collections because they I think they enjoy it sometimes, right? They get to take my stuff and cause my and cause me and my life to fall apart, right? Because think about it. You go to your bank to pay your mortgage, and there ain't no money in the bank. They took it, right? Or you go to your – you go to your uh, – your, here because most of my – many of my clients, I should say, are business people. They run their own businesses. What happens when the IRS contacts your best clients and says, you know, hey, don't pay him anymore. Pay us. Now, not only is it embarrassing, but it, but it costs you. You don't get the money. And how are you going to pay your bills if, they, if they're taking all your if they're taking all your money? Mm-hmm. So compliance is is key. And so what have we done in my office? We came up with something that we call the uh, the uh, IRS protection plan. And what this is, is it's a ongoing um, engagement with my office that we give you advice we stay we stand between we stay st- between you and the IRS when generally when I fix a problem I don't know anybody that does this by the way this is huge when I fix a, an IRS problem oftentimes right I withdraw my my power of attorney because if I didn't then I would get so many uh, notices from the IRS from from people that I that aren't my clients anymore okay so so we withdraw like every other company does we withdraw our power of attorney so now if you get and notices, I don't get them anymore. I don't know. And as a matter of fact, even if I called the IRS to get some, if you call me and say, hey, am I still in this agreement? I don't know. And they won't tell me because I'm not, I don't have a power of attorney anymore. So one of the IRS, one of the uh, cornerstones of the IRS protection plan is that it keeps our power of attorney in effect. So I remain between you and the IRS. So when they send you a notice, they're supposed to send me a notice. When they, when they want to talk to you, they got to talk to me. And this is big. Okay. So this is, this is a, uh, the cornerstone of the IRS protection plan. The second thing that it does is that it gives you t- uh, tax planning advice. So if you have a question, you have someone to call. And you're going to call my office. You're going to ask us questions. You're going to ask our tax preparers questions. How? What should I do? This should I buy that? Should I? You know, whatever is this deductible? Okay, because a lot of people think, hey, you're a tax attorney, aren't you, Steve? Yes, I am. Is this deductible? The answer is, I don't know. Okay, I have tax professionals, outstanding tax professionals who prepare the tax returns. How many times have you seen people get in trouble with using a CPA and then all of a sudden? Well, you know, people don't realize that your CPA isn't doing your your tax returns either, right? They have tax preparers. I use what they call enrolled agents. These are the highest certified tax preparers that the IRS You don't get higher than this. That the IRS This is as high as it goes. It is. And so, and so that, and then here's the, here's the other kicker. We prepare your tax returns every year for you, okay? So, so you get them done on time every year because what happens is that when a lot of times people come to see me, they haven't filed their tax return in some years. So we go back, we file a bunch of tax returns, we get you in compliance, and then if I'm not involved with your case anymore, you're going to fall right back to what you were doing before, and that means you're not going to do your tax return on time, and then you're going to get uh, you're going to fall out of compliance. They're going to terminate your and you're back agreement. to square back, one. and then you spend all that money to get a new agreement for nothing. And now you're spending so the, the IRS, money again. And- so the IRS protection plan is kind of kind of an insurance policy, if you will, in that it, it helps you stay in compliance, and that's really... So even if you didn't use me to get you into your installment agreement or whatever kind of agreement you have, we you could still call us and we'll put you on the IRS protection plan. So call me. You can't uh, afford not to do this, right. ladies and gentlemen. Again, the IRS protection plan is... is Attorney Stephen Leahy just said... It's insurance. It's to make sure that you guys stay in compliance, that you have no issues when it comes to the IRS later on. And listen, ladies and gentlemen, the only way you can get on that is by calling 
312-664-6649 to visit chicagotaxteam.com. It's going to be your hub to fight the IRS. Listen, Attorney Stephen Leahy can't help you if you don't give him a call. So go over to chicagotaxteam.com. Go get your free book. Go call Open Tax Resolution 312-664-6649. Ask how you can be part of the IRS Protection Plan. Listen to our sponsors and come right back here on AM560. The Answer. The Answer. 